Your Excellency, Mr. Chaba Qureshi, President of the United Nations General Assembly, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Maher Nasser. I'm the officer in charge of the Department of Global Communications for this week, and my day job is director of the outreach division in the same department. I am very honored to welcome those of you with us here in person and everyone joining us virtually to today's town hall with His Excellency Chaba Kuroshi, President of the 77th Session of the United Nations General Assembly. The theme of today's town hall is Solutions for a Sustainable Future Through Enhanced Global Cooperation. And we'll take the form of, of a conversation and question and answer with President Kuroshi. Today's event is the third in a series of civil society town halls with President Kuroshi. The first was held in December of 2022 and focused on the President's inspiring vision, emphasizing solidarity, sustainability, science, youth empowerment, and partnerships as the means to address the world's challenges. The second town hall was held in April, highlighted the progress and challenges in achieving the Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs, as we all know them, with a look towards the upcoming SDG Summit in September of this year. If you missed either of these town halls, I highly recommend watching the recorded sessions on you on Web TV or you on YouTube, where you will find valuable insights. And if you have a difficulty finding those, reach out to my colleagues in the civil society unit, and they will definitely send you the link. On behalf of my colleagues in DGC, we extend our sincere gratitude to His Excellency Kuroshi for convening today's event with you, representatives of civil society, and for once again placing your voices front and center. Your commitment and active involvement helps create an inclusive, equitable, prosperous, and a peaceful world. As per the report of the Sec General Antonio Guterres, plans are underway for the SDG Summit in September 2023 and the Summit of the Future in September 2024. Your questions and ideas hold immense importance in shaping those discussions, and we want to hear from you. Uh, and now I know that you're looking forward to a question and answer session with you. Uh, we will take two questions at a time, and uh, President Kuroshi will then respond. Uh, after I select you, please press the microphone button. It will first appear green. Once it's red, that means that you can speak. And please uh, go ahead, introduce yourself first, so that we know who's asking the question. And then we'll, uh, and your CSO, civil society affiliation uh, as well. Avoid statements, please. We want as many people as possible to ask questions. And I will interrupt you if you're launched into a long statement, because we are here to, to engage with each other and not to uh, create a forum for, for long statements, please. So uh, we'll start maybe uh, looking at the hands, and then we'll see. We'll try to take from different sides. The young man there. Thank you. <coughs> Uh, I am uh, John Anari from West Papua Indigenous People. Uh, I came from uh, West Papua or New Guinea Island, but my island is still occupied and colonized by Indonesia. So I'm coming here to asking uh, the president because the agenda sustainable development, I think will not running for my peoples. Because before when the Dutch leave our people, our people in 1962, our people is one million. But when Indonesia occupied in 1962 with the United Nations Temporary Executive Authority, and then after that transferred to Indonesia in 1963, and then Indonesia control from 1960 through 1969, they, they give us the referendum, and that's the fake referendum, fought by, by 625 Indonesian people, and then the settler, uh, the indigenous people, only for hundreds, and then question, the, please. And the, yeah, and then the, my question is: Can you give our indigenous people the right of self-determination? Because the the war is still going on in Papua, in, in West Papua Island today, and 
our uh, indigenous resistance we call West Papua National Liberation Army still fighting on the war. And then Indonesian sent so many thousand, and then 63,000 my people, indigenous people in refugees running to the jungle forest of New Guinea. And then they get malaria, six and everything. And then Indonesian settler came, occupied our territory. They control our government. They control the <coughs> mining, oil, and everything for them and my people until today. In 1963, they, uh, until today, our people today decreased from one million, and today my people only uh, 600,000 people. Thank I you. think for 2023 agenda, maybe my people empty like Indian people in the United States and the Aboriginal people in Australia. So my question, can you facilitate us to uh, dialogue with Indonesia? Because the war is still going on. And then, and then, can you give us our right to self-determination? Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, for uh, the dear colleague from uh, uh, Western Papua, and I remember your question uh, during the previous uh, 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 town hall as well. Sometimes uh, in these out in discussions, I feel like the fifth husband of Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> Uh, I roughly know what you are expecting from me, but I'm not sure I can deliver. Uh, uh, the, <clears throat> uh, the issue of national sovereignty is not in my hands. I cannot give national sovereignty to anybody, but the UN has uh, the fourth committee, uh, which uh, is dealing with the issues of former colonies or territories that have not uh, gained their independence. And I'm, I'm sure that would be, if the, the issue is pending, uh, that would be the proper place to discuss it, to bring it there and, and uh, uh, to discuss it. Uh, thank you, President Kuroshi, for convening this town hall with us uh, and offering your insight into civil society's significant contribution to implementing Agenda 2030 and for taking all these unscreened questions, uh, including and how can we accelerate achievement of the SDGs. Special thanks to all of you with us today, and whether in person or virtually. I would also like to thank my colleagues in the Civil Society Unit who have helped organize this and, and made it possible for all of you to, to participate. Thank you very much for being with us, and I wish you a very nice day. Thank you, and I'm sorry for all of those who couldn't ask the questions but there will be future opportunities. Thank you.